It's February, it's cold, and I really don't want to get out of the sleeping bag. So much so, in fact, I spent all morning wondering if I can get away with doing the whole video from under the sleeping bag. But I don't think I can. So let's get out of it and tell you exactly what you need to know about these Gardner carp duvets. First things first, it's really good to have our hands back on some Gardner product. Now we've done a few videos last year with Gardner and uh, as you guys know, they're a very well respected brand and all of the products are of a decent quality. So yeah, it's really nice to be working with them again this year and we've got quite a few videos in the pipeline with some exciting products as well. But that brings us on to our first product of the year with them, which are these carp duvets. Now there's two versions available. Right here, I've got the compact. This is carp duvet compact but you can get a Carp Duvet Plus as well. Even though this is called a compact, it doesn't mean it's tiny. This is about bang on for 99% of bed chairs on the market. So this is like the ideal size if you've got a standard bed chair, even a wide boy, it will fit over quite nicely. But if you want that bit more room, then the Plus is gonna be the one to go for. We come onto that in a little bit and we are kind of flash some dimensions up so you know exactly what you're looking at. But we're gonna focus mainly on this compact right now. And probably one of the first things to mention is the warmth. Now, it was a little white lie in the intro. I haven't been in it all morning, but even just the time during, during making that intro in that little section, I was almost sweating inside it. So it is a very, very warm sleeping bag, which is what you want. I mean, it's designed to be an all season bag. So it's designed for winter. I don't need to go through the seasons. You know what the four seasons are. It's designed for year round use. So how does it do that? Basically you've got inside a thermal layer which can easily just pop out you've got these little um like toggles all the way around the inside and then you can just pop it out like that so if you're using it in winter obviously you want to be using this section it will keep you nice and warm but then when it comes to probably april may time when temperatures are coming up a little bit it's nice and easy to remove that and yeah like i say there's toggles all the way around the bag so you can just easily whip that out. But the nice thing about it having toggles all the way around is it's not gonna be like one of them annoying duvets at home where you got two of them, and they end up flapping about everywhere and you end up with all the duvet and that's going off on a tangent. You don't need to know about my duvet life. But yes, very nice that you can remove it. And then obviously that brings it more into a summer bag. But this time of year, you're obviously gonna be wanting it. But yeah, like I say, being inside it just for a few minutes, it was boiling. So I am going to be spending a bit more time with these bags, 100%. That's not the only way that it keeps warm. There's little bits and pieces around the whole design of this bag, which keeps you nice and toasty, which stops any air coming in, any drafts. So the first thing really to mention is you've got this little baffle along the side and it's only about an inch in size, but that's about bang on really, because some sleeping bags, they have a baffle which is two, three inches and it almost gets in the way a little bit when you're sleeping. But the, the idea of this is that it just about covers the zip enough that there's not gonna be drafts coming in, but then it's not too much of a hindrance. You know, if, if, you're, if you're using it with it slightly open over summer, when they're two, three inches, they do get in the way. And I'm sure some of you guys would have experienced that, but that's not where it stops. You've basically got the baffle on the inside and then you've almost got like a quite a tough material which is between the baffle and the zip. And the idea of this is when it is zipped, that will close up. So you've almost got like a secondary protection. You've got that material there, and then you've got the baffle underneath it. Zipping that fully up obviously creates quite a barrier from the inside, so drafts aren't gonna get in. But the other thing that they fought out is, as you can see, the zip only goes to here. So the idea of that is that the final quarter of the bag, there is no zip. You don't need to zip that far down, but the main reason for this is just in case the odd draft does get in, then your feet are still gonna be warm because obviously keeping your feet warm down the end of the bag is one of the most important things to actually ensuring that you stay warm yourself. If your feet get cold, the rest of you ends up getting cold. So yeah, there's loads of little things that have been put in place to ensure that it is as warm as it possibly can be. But it's all well and good having all of these little extras to keep the warmth in but none of that matters if you don't have a decent filling. So this has got a twin hole hollow fill fiber filling. If I'm completely honest, I don't know too much about what that means, but just from witnessing being inside it, it does mean that it keeps you nice and warm. So combination of the filling and then all these little extras does mean that you are gonna be super toasty when you're on the bank over winter. And then like I say, you can just whip out that extra uh, thermal infill during the summer, 
So it's going to keep you warm enough, but not too sweaty. Now, the nice thing about the uh, kind of material as well is there's no fleece in it. So a lot of people complain about fleece and sleeping bags when you roll over and it kind of rolls with you and it's just a nightmare going off on another tangent again but this is just a nice smooth material top and bottom so you've got none of that to worry about if you don't subscribe by the end of this video you're probably going to cast into a tree the rig's going to be there all night all night long it's not a new bag it has been out for a little while now and within the kind of culty carp scene i couldn't have made that sound any less cool but within the culty carp scene it is a very um highly regarded sleeping bag i mean look at it it looks cool doesn't it it's just a it's a cool bag so it attaches like a normal bag would do where you've got basically an overlap down the bottom and an overlap at the top and the nice thing about it is it's not just a case of putting it over and hoping that fits in place there's basically toggles that you can pull tight so it really does grip onto your bed chair so you're not going to find that if you get a bite in the middle of the night you end up ripping it off the bed chair and taking it with you because it really does kind of anchor down on whatever bed chair you've got that's the idea of, the, of them toggles and the other nice thing about these as well are the zips so you've got crash zips both sides so if you get a bite it's nice and easy to get out of you haven't got to be worrying about trying to pull them where the zips have got caught they are nice and easy just to rip out so zip that back up so yeah it's um it has been well thought out it's been designed for fishing it's not just like Gardner have gone and got some cheapy camping sleeping bag and put their name on it this has been this has been designed for what we do so yeah can't really complain with that you've got little velcro flaps which obviously you just have over if uh, depending on what side you're planning on getting out of you'd have it over on the other side like i say alongside having the toggles to actually anchor the the bag down to a bed chair you've also got toggles along the main opening of the bag so you can choose if you want it that a bit tighter if it is a cold winter night then you can kind of pull that a bit tighter so you're going to keep all the warm air inside and you're not getting cold air coming in you've got another another toggle around the head end and then you've got a main strap in the middle which uh, obviously just helps attach it to a, a bed chair as well so it's a yeah it's a well thought out product the last thing really to mention is you've got uh, a little pocket either side now these are 17 by 9 centimeters so they're the ideal size for a receiver or a phone or something like that and again you've got it either side so if you're wanting it, it well it can work in both ways you either want it on the the side that you plan on getting out or if it's something like your phone and you want it the other side of you then you can do that as well so or you can just have something on each side it's up to you <laughs> you can you can do what you want with it really and then the last thing really to mention is the camo pattern in case you haven't seen that already but yeah it's a really cool pattern it feels a really tough material this isn't going to rip if you're getting it caught on a fawn or something like that it's yeah tough material cool pattern nice and warm what more do you want from a sleeping bag so i'm going to whip this one off and then i'm going to put the uh carp duvet plus on this same bed chair so you can see how much bigger that is so let's do that now there we go so this is the carp duvet plus and it's basically the Giacomo version there is plenty of room inside this one and like I say this can be used on standard bed chairs if you just want that bit more room then that's not an issue but then it will be quite well suited to wider bed chairs as well so this is designed for your bigger angler i'd say or if you just want that bit more comfort if you like having a bit more space then this is going to be the one for you but if i open it up you see inside there is plenty of room let's flip that open it just generally is a lot wider so if i <coughs> and get myself in there then oh, you've got yeah there's there's a lot more room in here and uh like i say some some people just prefer a bit more a bit more space to move around and that's that's definitely a good option for this or if you need a bit more space then again this uh this is a very good option but yeah they are super comfortable every time i get in them they are very very nice and uh yeah i'd be very tempted to to have one myself if i'm honest i like the design i like the material it it really is something you need to you need to see in a tackle shop and really feel it because you can feel the quality from it but like i say these are the carp duvets from gardener and we'll be doing more videos with them there's some very cool sleeping bag covers that that kind of match these as well so i'll be i'll be looking at them in the next video but yeah 
If you've enjoyed this, let us know in the comments. If you've got one of these bags or you're looking at getting one, let us know because uh, yeah, they are a very, very highly regarded bag. So thanks for watching this video. Oh, I better tell you the price. So you can get these for way under 200 quid. Prices change all the time, but as it stands, if you have a look around online, yeah, you can get them for under 200 quid. So they're an absolute bargain really for what you're getting. But um, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Have a look up here. There's going to be more Carpology videos coming up so you can carry on watching. And I'll see you in the next one where I'll be looking at the, uh, the sleeping bag covers to go with these. Thanks for watching.